In this series of two videos, we're going to be looking at the map operation transform when using SAP Business Objects Data Services and loading data into SAP HANA. Now this video is going to cover a couple of concepts. The first concept is replicating an, ex an existing data flow, which is something that you may need to do if you want to work on two versions of a job. And in the second part of the video, we're going to focus on using the map operation transform to deal with new rows in a source table when you want to replicate those rows in a target table. The second video will be dealing with if you update rows in a source table, how do you want those handled if you want that data replicated in a target table? So the first thing we need to do is to log into data services. So we do that by going to start, we can access that from all programs, data services, and we choose the data services designer. Log in with your credentials. So for me, it's student and the password is welcome one. And then it logs you into the system. So let's just recap how table comparison actually works. So I've already got a project here called Table Comparison. And I have a job which I've already built. And the steps to build this are in another video. So what we have is a source table and a target table. And what we want to do is make sure that these two tables are always the same. So in, ex in this simple example, we have 120 rows in this table. And this table here is an exact, we want it to be an exact comparison of this table, an exact replica. So this, for example, could come from another database, let's say a transactional SQL server system. And this is your HANA data warehouse. And we want these two dimension tables to be exactly the same. Now, if I click on the view magnifying glass, the view data icon for the source table, it's in HANA, but again, it could be in any system. If I go down, we can see that there are 120 rows. If I click on the magnifying glass or the view data for the target table, we can also see that there are 120 rows. Now, quite simply, if I run this, this job, the table comparison will compare the two objects together and make sure that all the rows in the source table also exist in the target table. We know that this would be the case because if we go to our monitor tab, we can see that nothing has left the history preserving and key generation transforms. So this essentially means that even if I was to refresh the target, we would still have 120 rows. And again, and again these three transforms are all explained in other videos. So what we're going to do in this video is discuss the map operation transform which does a very similar job to the history preserving transform. Essentially what it does is that if it notices that a row in this table has been updated, instead of updating the same row in the target table, it will turn the update into an insert statement so you have an additional row. So let me demonstrate that to you now. I can demonstrate that by doing this in the SAP HANA Studio. What we're going to do is run a statement which will simply update one of the rows in that source table. So to access my source, I'm going to expand my catalog folder, go into the STS schema, and in the tables folder, we have our dim customer table, which I'll open and I'll look at the content. So just to make it easier to see, I'm going to modify this last row. So quite simply, I'm going to modify this row. Instead of being in Bangkok, I'm going to modify it to be in a different city. So I'm going to run an update statement. So I'm just going to copy this little bit of code here. And then I'm going to launch a SQL editor by clicking on the SQL editor icon here and then run an update statement. So again, if I go back, we want to update the city name. I'm 
I'm going to change this to Phuket, where the customer ID equals 120. So of course, what we're doing then is we're running an update statement on that row. So I'll click on execute. And just to check, I'll go back to my source table, refresh. And what we see here is we've got the update here. So now it was Bangkok and now it's Phuket in Thailand. So now we go back to data services and I'm going to run the job, obviously without modifying the job. Now what we'll expect to see, and again we can see that here, if I refresh my DIM customer table here and scroll down to the row, we should see that Alta Inc. is in Phuket. But in the target, Alta Inc. is in Bangkok. So when using the history preserving transform, what will essentially happen is an additional row will be entered, which will be row number 121, with the new rows de with the new details which will copy Alta Inc and you will row 120 will be Bangkok and row 121 will be Phuket. The way the key is allocated again is explained in another video and that is done with the key generation transform. So again I'll right click on my table comparison, click on execute and click on OK. What should happen is one row is identified in the table comparison because it will identify that one row has changed. So this means that one row goes into the history preserving. By default, data services is saying update the target. But when we add the history preserving transform, we're saying convert the update into an insert statement so as to preserve history. So now if I go back to table comparison and I refresh my target table, and if I go to the bottom, we should have an additional row. We have two alter inks. We have one in Bangkok and one in Phuket. So you can see very simply, we've demonstrated how history preserving works. And again, table comparison, history preserving, and key generation are all explained in three previous videos. So map operation is a very similar way to history preserving to preserving history. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to modify this job, what I'm going to do firstly is replicate this data flow because it will be good to keep this existing version that we know works. So to do this I'm just going to close all my windows. I'm even going to close the table comparison project and in the bottom part of the screen in my local object library I'm going to go to my list of data flows expand the list of data flows and I'm going to replicate the table comparison transform by right clicking and saying replicate. This essentially creates a copy of the data flow. And now I'm going to rename this and call this map operation. And then click on OK. And now we can go back to Designer and build that new job project. So I'm going to build a new project called Map Operation. And within the project, I'm going to create a new job called Map Operation. And then I'm going to drag on the replicated data flow on the screen. So in essence, now we have an exact copy of the table comparison data flow. And I'll just save what we've done. So now that we've replicated that data flow and we've created the new project and new job, what we can do is remove the history preserving transform and I'm going to replace it with the data in my, with a new transform which is in the local object library. It's in the fifth tab and in the platform group of transforms you have a transform called map operation. So I'm going to drag on map operation onto the screen and join the table comparison to the map operation and then the map operation to key generation. Now again, if I double click on my map, or map operation, you'll see that in terms, in comparison to the history preserving transform, there's a lot less options. Essentially, you only can configure these four options below. So, 
what we can say is if the data between the source and target has been updated, we can then choose which operation we want to happen. So to demonstrate this first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the default settings. So I'm going to say if the source is updated, let's update the target. If the source is inserted, we'll insert a new um, row into the target. And if there's anything deleted, we'll delete in the target as well. So I'm just going to leave the, the default settings and click on Save. Now to ensure that these two rows, are, these two tables are exactly the same, I'm going to run the job one more time. But this time I'm going to drop the rows from the target. This is just to make sure that before we start, we know that the rows on both sides are exactly the same. So I'm just going to execute and click on OK. We can see 120 rows were taken across. And if I go back to my table comparison and click on view data, we can see that now we've got an exact replica. We've got 120 in the target and we've got 120 in the source. So we're back to the scratch, we're back to the beginning. So I'll go back to the table comparison transform and I'll deselect delete data from table before loading. And I'll close all the windows. Now quite simply, if I was to execute the job again, nothing should happen. So I'm going to execute the job, click on yes and, ex and run the job. Now of course nothing should happen because nothing has changed. And we can prove this by going into the monitor tab and looking at the table comparison transform. And we can see that nothing has gone into the table comparison, the map operation or key generation transform. So I am pretty certain that if I go back to the target, we'll still have that 120 rows. So nothing has changed in the source and the target table is identical. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to HANA and we're going to insert a new row. A simple way to insert a row is by selecting an existing row, right clicking and selecting the option insert statement. It just saves you a little bit of time. So I'm going to change this to Cantona Inc. And this is going to be in this is going to be in Manchester, which is in the UK and which is in Europe. So I'll just change obviously the key. So now we've got a new record. So that's the first thing we've got. We've got a new record which is number 120, 121, record number 121 with a new company name, city, town and region. So then I'll execute this and this should insert a new row into our source database. Now of course again if I go back to data services and I look at my source table, which is this one on the right, you see dim customer and I refresh and if we go right to the bottom we should see that new row appear here, Cantona Inc which is row 120 in Manchester UK. So of course what should happen because we've said if there's an insert, do an insert in the target, what will happen is that we will insert a new row into the table comparison table. So let's see, we're going to ex execute that job Click on OK. And of course, we should have inserted one row. There we go. We can see that one row has left the table comparison transform and has entered map operation and key generation. And quite simply, if we go back and we refresh this table, of course, we'll see that we've got that one, two, one. So you see there we've dealt with very simply and insert in the source, but instead of copying all the rows to the target, we've only copied the individual row that we need, which is row number 121. So that's the first part of this demo, which deals with inserts in a source table and replicating those inserts into a target table. The second video will be dealing with if you update rows in a source table, how do you want those handled if you want that data replicated in a target table. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, which was a demonstration on the map operation transform when using SAP Business Objects Data Services and loading data into SAP HANA.